Good morning, YouTube family. It is Sunday morning. Praise God. It is November the 20th. Welcome, welcome once more. This is Miss Norma. Our reading this morning is called Triumph by Remembering the Past. Our scripture lesson is Psalms 103, verse 2. It says, Give praise to the Lord, O my soul. Let not all his blessings go from your memory. Amen. It's 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 been a weekend, family. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So grateful, Lord, you've given us and allow us to see the first day of a brand new week. So happy Sunday, everyone. Have a blessed day. Whether you're headed out to church or uh, just going to relax at home, have um, some more downtime. I know the holiday is upon us, and some of us will be off. And um, but some of us will have to work up until Wednesday. So uh, just have a wonderful week, and I pray that um, you will have a wonderful time with your families. And of course, there are those who may not have uh, family situations to visit. Uh, but I always ask the Lord to uh, lead God and direct me, and I pray that. Um, there will be a shelter in any storm that we are going through. There are so many things uh, going on around us and homelessness or just people being alone during this time of the year is, is always adds uh, extra weight to that time. So my family and friends who are out there, uh, let us remember to pray for all situations because um, we all need to be covered every single day no matter where we are no matter what we're doing doing and no matter our plight or our praise we still need to be covered so let us um, have a word of prayer of a father Oh, Lord, first and foremost, Lord, let the words of my mouth, of our mouths, and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. And Lord, um, right here, um, Lord, you know that uh, locally where I am, there are different situations happening and going on, Father, uh, the most recent and devastating news that has happened is the uh, death of the young lady, uh, Sean Quella Robinson. So I know that her funeral was on yesterday, and I ask that you would just continue, Lord, to uh, wrap your arms around her family, Father, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, there are others, Father, who didn't make the news. Um, like in Shanquella's case, Lord. And so, Lord, we ask that you would wrap your arms around them as well. We may not know the names, Lord, but you know the angels to send in each and every given situation. I thank you, Lord, for the um, young man and his uh, YouTube channel that has been, um, appears to have been very helpful to the Robinson family, Lord. And I just ask, Lord, for your continued blessing that um, law enforcement in other situations, Lord, um, will be brought forth and given the attention that they need and families are able to uh, have some sort of closure, Lord. But with the loss of a loved one, Lord, whether through a situation like this or a sudden situation where our loved ones are just snatched away from us, Father, the heart is always so much heavier, Lord. So um, I ask, Lord, for a special blessing, Lord, to those who are living and experiencing a broken heart, a broken spirit, Lord. Father, cover your grace and mercy in these circumstances. And Lord, then remember those, Lord, who are have losses in other situations. It could be health challenge. It could be a loss. It could be the loss of a limb, Lord, due to uh, some type of internal injury, Lord, or whatever it might be. Um, 
we don't know, but you know, and we can pray and we can cover it, Lord, with the words of our mouth, just surrendering it to you. Remember our young people, Lord, our children, our grandchildren, Lord, the spirit of rebellion that um, has risen up, Lord, in different um, homes, Lord, people that I've talked to, uh, they are, you know, just totally overwhelmed with um, situations in their home, whether it's the separation of the um, the marriage, whether there's a separation between the parents and the children, Lord, or Lord, whether it's financial burdens, Lord, whatever it is, Father, um, just your blessing, your guiding, and your leading, Father. Lord, if once we learn, Father, and we are following the example of Christ, whatever he faced, he took it to his Father. He always took time to come away and be with his Father, Lord, before and after ministry, Lord, lifting up his Father during ministry, Father. That's the example he left for us. So, Lord, I pray that we will learn to call upon your name. There's power in your name. There's relief in your name. There is rest in your name. So thank you this morning for your blessings of rest and restoration, Father. Heal our land, O oh God. In Jesus' name I pray. Lord, collectively we say amen. And I thank you, Lord for the prayer warriors, Lord, who are coming forth, Lord, and joining um, this uh, prayer band, Lord, at whatever time that they see it. Continue to release your blessings upon us all, O oh God. And Father, may the strength and the power of the words that we speak be just as present and evident, Lord, in those who will be joining us later. In Jesus' name, thank you, Abba Father. Amen. Triumph by remembering the past. Though all are daily blessed by God, not all remember to praise him for his mercies. In gratitude and forgetfulness of God's goodness, let me say that again, in gratitude and forgetfulness of God's goodness, and mercy come all too easily. King David warns us not to forget because God forgives sins and heals diseases. He is our redeemer. He is our provider and our source of mercy. And only he can deliver us and judge those who would oppress and persecute us. That Psalms 103 verses 3 to 6. The devil was the first being to exhibit ingratitude and a lack of remembrance for God's goodness and mercy. Isaiah 14 verses 12 through 15, Ezekiel 28 verses 11 through 18, and Revelation 12 verses 9 through 7. These same two sins often dictated the Israelites' choice as God faithfully continued to lead them to the promised land. That's Exodus 17, verses 1 through 6, and verse 32. Also in Joshua 7 and Judges uh, chapter 3, verse 4. Yet, whenever the people of Israel remembered God as their sustainer, Amen. Their deliverer, amen, and provider, he blessed them. As people in spiritual Israel today, we must not allow the devil to have his way with us as he did with the children of Israel. Under God's inspiration, author Ellen White counsels us not to forget God's leading in our lives. This is what she wrote. In reviewing our past history, having traveled over every step of advance to our present standing, I can say, praise God. As I see what God has wrought, I am filled with astonishment 
and with confidence in Christ as leader. We have nothing to fear for the future except we shall forget the way the Lord has led us and teaching in our past history. We are now a strong people if we will put our trust in the Lord, for we are handling the mighty troops of the word of God. We have everything to be thankful for. Truly, family, the way to be triumphant, triumphant throughout both present and future challenges is by remembering how God has led us in the past, led you and me, and then never forgetting his numerous blessings. When we arise every morning and fall asleep every night, this is her prayer. Lord, please bless us and make us overcomers as we daily remember you and your leading while going about our everyday lives. In your name, amen. Our reading this morning was written by Joy Bacaba Igwe. I hope I'm saying that right. Joy Bacaba Igwe. Um, the note from author uh, Ellen White was taken from um, her book, Testimonies to Ministers and Gospel Workers. Some of us are ministers, and some of us are just everyday gospel workers. So just remember, family, it's okay to visit the past and see your blessings and know that the Lord can bring you through the times that we are dealing with today. We thank the Lord for the work that he even did and those that came before us who paved the way. And we have the privileges that we have now, um, the knowledge that is here, everything, all of this comes from the Lord. We have to know that and we have to remember to thank him and ask for his continued leading and guidance in all things, even when we feel like we're blind. Uh, you know, just sharing personally for a minute, um, just uh, just have things going on. Um, I, I pray always for my children and my grandchildren, and I have a little great-grandson. And um, I tell you, turmoil hits all of us. Problems hit all of us. So it's just important to pray for our, our families. Uh, I know that I'm not the only one having these types of experiences. Um, but family, remember to pray for your family. Don't grow weary. Sometimes we can't figure out what it is. But the power of prayer, with a prayer, you can blanket that situation and give it to God and the good seeds that you've planted in your family or maybe somebody planted in you. Um, we can ask the Lord to cause those seeds when it's time um, to, to grow, that they will come forth. And, um, you know, we have a lineage that um, when they get to be adults, young adults, that you can't sit down and try to reason with them or force them to walk this way or that way. When a person or individuals get to the point where they are walking their own walk and talking their own talk, and um, it's just the graciousness of God that the Lord even allows them to do that. But family, cease not to pray for them. Cover them anyhow. Cover them. Cover your family. Pray for your family. I pray for my family every day. There's four generations stemming from me and my children. I think it's me, my children, my grandchildren, yeah, and my great-grandson. And um, 
I pray for my lineage and I encourage you pray for your lineage cover your family cover you know their friends the people they're interacting with bless the name of the Lord I'm telling you you got to cover your family um, there is a battle going on and sometimes we see it and sometimes that spiritual side we may not see it but it's there and we have to cover our families. So cover your family every day in prayer. Whenever they hit your heart, you got to cover them. Call out their names before the Lord. You know, call out, you know, ask the Lord to show you how to pray. Because when they are to the point where they are no longer under your jurisdiction in terms of, you know, you leading and guiding them and teaching them, <laughs> I've learned, honey. I tell the Lord on the on a situation in a minute. So I encourage you, <laughs> tell him all about it. Tell the Lord about it. You don't have to have no fear. You don't have to pray out loud. You don't have to be on your knees, laid out, stretched out, prostrate before the Lord. You can be on your job doing what you do, and that person will come to your mind, and you can shout out a prayer on the inside. Don't nobody have to hear you? Pray without ceasing. That's what it's about. Pray without ceasing, family. Don't be afraid to call on the name of the Lord for your family, from yourself on down to everything that proceeds from you. Cover your family. There's a war going on. There's a war going on, and trust me. Um, and you already know, because you've been going through it. My story is your story. Yeah, their names may be different and their faces may be different, but we are all going through in some form or fashion your foundation, your lineage, yourself. You are under attack. This battle ain't ours, it's the Lord's. And we have to remember to let <laughs> the victorious one win the battles in your life. You know, I was reflecting the other day on the goodness of the Lord and, you know, the things when you read in the scriptures that Christ suffered through, his journey to uh, the cross, his victory later on, you know how he did it, family? He kept in touch with his father. He kept looking to his father. Even when he felt the separation from his father at the height or the climax of the work on the cross, he didn't come down. He stayed for you and me because he knew that he was the reconciliation between us and his father. And he stayed. And sometimes family, you just have to stay. And our staying is on our knees, crying out, sometimes saying goodbye to our loved ones through situations that they have gotten into. And um, in the human realm, they are undeliverable. But through the power of prayer, we don't know how God is going to deliver them. So. I thank you, family, for this time this morning. Um, I just thank you for your prayers. As we pray back and forth for one another, I thank you for listening. Um, I thank you for praying for me. I thank you for praying for your own family. Uh, your household may not be in travail right now, but you know of someone who is going through a process. Pray them. Pray much for one another. This is Miss Norma signing off. And I tell you, the title for November 20th, Triumph by Remembering the Past, that's my triumph. Because I know where the Lord has brought me from. I don't know where he's brought you from, but I know you got a story just like mine. We serve an awesome God who loves us and cares for us. And all I can tell you, I say on here, like, subscribe, and share, and stay in touch. But I'm telling you, you life's 
subscribe, and share with the one that can really bring you through. Through the power and his might, take time in the morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever your daybreak comes, and talk to your father and ask for your feet to follow the path he set out before you. And make sure when you put your hand to the plow that that's the plow he's telling you to put it through because we can't fix anything. Sometimes we are just instruments in his hand. And um, there's a song I remember. I'm not going to sing. I'm really, I'm really not going to sing. But it was called Make Me a Blessing to Someone Today. So be a blessing to someone today, whether it's through the gift of helping or the gift of prayer. Be a blessing, family. This is Miss Norma signing off. Um, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Remember to pray, stay connected, and um, don't lose hope. No matter how dark the clouds get over you, know that um, joy and sunshine come in the morning and I don't know when your morning is but I know if you seek his face you will be sustained by his joy and his grace and his mercy blessed day family I love you this is Miss Norma signing off I encourage you to visit our um, playlist titled songs for devotional reading there's all genres of christian music go and enjoy pick some songs out right now um the song that has been resting um, within me for uh the past several days is a song um called come drink come eat at my table um and that's what I have been endeavoring to do is to eat from the Lord's table daily and to be strengthened and to remember um, as I speak and go about through the day, repeating over myself, Psalm 19, verse 14, truly let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer, our Redeemer. See you later, family. By His grace, I'll see you on tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. And I'm really signing off this time. <laughs> okay. I love you.